New year, new toys. Let's get it going. So today I pretty much just want to talk about why I think you need a telephoto lens. Um, I personally only have two lenses. I do 90% of my work with a 16 to 35 f4 lens. And then I just picked this up the other day. Super excited and the thing just is amazing all the way through. I've been wanting a telephoto lens to get a lot closer to like wildlife or doing a lot of portrait stuff and I couldn't have asked for a better lens personally. Um, now there's a couple other variations that you can get. There's the G Master, which is an f2.8 lens, a little bit sharper, a little bit more blur in the background or bokeh, if you will. Um, I think this thing does a great job for what it is. You don't get that low light capability, but with like a a7S2 with the good low light and everything, I think that it actually doesn't really hinder you too much. Um, it's still super sharp. The 4K image or the 1080p image is amazing, which is primarily what I do with the videography. But I think this thing will really shine doing weddings or even events where you can kind of get in close to things, even though you're kind of farther away, hence telephoto lens. Um, but I, I really do think that this is a good thing to have in everyone's bag just because of the versatility. You know, it's still wide enough to where you're able to get really close to something and have the focus pretty good. And the 200 obviously getting pretty close to like wildlife or something like that is pretty cool. Um, all of the cinematography that you saw in this video beforehand was all shot with this. I think it turned out pretty good. It's sharp. Uh, the focus isn't on point. It's a little slow with the a7S2. I heard they fixed a lot of that issue with the a7R3 and maybe even the a7S3 coming out possibly end of this month or so, I don't know. But I'm really stoked that this thing does what it does. And I highly recommend some sort of a telephoto lens for your kit, if you want it. Some different stuff going on. Trying to change the pace a little bit. So 2017 is probably one of my more memorable years just in the fact that I was able to start this YouTube channel and really try to create something that I'm passionate about uh, in the filmmaking world. I've always had a camera. I've always tried to make little videos and um, it was a lot of fun. And now I think I'm gonna change that up completely. I'm gonna kind of go towards a tutorial side of things where I wanna talk about some of the gear that I have or the processes I use to make videos. So this last year I was able to really grow and do more projects for people. I really wanna hone in on that in 2018 and make that a priority to do more of that because I grow with that every time I do it and it's a lot of fun for me. Um, but I really wanna just kind of show you guys, if you're interested at all, what I do, the kind of color process I use or the editing software or the equipment I use when I go and do a shoot. Those are things that I really want to get involved in. And uh, I'm going to do some tutorials on different lenses, um, drones, things like that. Things that I'm interested in and hopefully I can portray that to you guys and uh, give you some information that you may not have had or something you're interested in. So if you do want to do that, leave a little message down below to tell me kind of what you're interested in and I'll uh, respond and probably make a video about it if you want. So yeah, very excited. Hopefully you guys like my new little title I have. It's a very Peter McKinnon travel feels vibe, kind of what I was looking for. So yeah, make sure to hit that like button if you want to, I appreciate it. Maybe even subscribe and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.